Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here, and today I just want to talk to you guys about something that's pretty important, but we don't necessarily get to experience depending on where you live and where you go uh, in the world today. So, um, yeah. Uh, well, obviously having some Maple Story, random Maple Story footage in the background. But that topic is, no, not necessarily apple pies, but it is customer service. Um, today in my uh, security guard class, we touched upon obviously customer service and how important it is, um, not only as a security guard but any job, but in particular, you know, security guard, uh, because you know you're obviously most likely the first person that someone would see when they come onto property, uh, wh whatever the property is that you're hired to um, patrol or um, secure, so to say. So. Um, it's pretty funny that we talked about that because, you know, we all know, you know, what's good customer service. Um, if you have some kind of age to you at least, so like if you're like a tw by the by the age of 12, I'm pretty sure you would know what's like good customer service and, um, you know, what's the right way and what's wrong and stuff like that. And it's pretty interesting because uh, a couple days ago. Uh, while while at my security guard class, and it was lunchtime, and I went to the McDonald's across the street to buy something to eat. Um, I only went to McDonald's because it's the only place around there. And yes, this is me trying to justify me going to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm just joking, but yeah. So I went to McDonald's to get something to eat, and they had me they had me waiting for a bit, right? Uh, for my order and you know I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty patient guy you know um, it's, it's kind of funny because <clears throat> when we think of McDonald's you know we think of uh, you know kind of like a quick you know tasty kind of meal right for a decent ish price um, if you live in the States then it's a really good price <laughs> but um so that's what we think of when we think of McDonald's you don't think of you know excellent customer service and stuff like that uh, which is which to me I think is really bad because uh, what does that say about them right um, but, but that is like it shouldn't be that way you know when you think of a, a fast food restaurant or a restaurant in general um, no matter where it is you know they should have excellent customer service they should treat every single customer like uh, you know, they're they're the boss, so to say. Um, and so I went there. You know, I'm I'm a normal person. I wasn't expecting anything amazing. I've I've waited many times at other McDonald's in the past, so you know this is nothing new to me. But I'm there waiting. Um, and something I noticed that was a bit different was they they addressed me several times. Um, you know telling me don't worry your order's still coming we apologize and typically I when I was found waiting for you know a period of time they would never make that make the effort to do that right and so I kind of appreciated that you know I'm still waiting you know I, I get I get it you know your McDonald's busy as hell all the time whatever um, I'm not saying it's right of them to make people wait um, but it's just like okay it was nice they they addressed me a couple times um, you know, so they didn't completely forget about me. Uh, they didn't take my money and forget about me. <laughs> and so um, it was pretty nice. I wasn't even waiting too long. You know, I've waited longer uh, many times in the past. Uh, not to say I'm always at McDonald's or anything, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and so when I got my my order, the manager's like, uh, "Sorry, hey, sorry, sorry, so much for the wait. Uh, we threw in a free uh, apple pie in there for you." And so you know that made me feel good. Um, it really made me feel like uh, they they took they took my waiting you know heavily on the on their shoulders and stuff like that and like it was it was hurting them in some way um, and that they really wanted me to be a very happy and satisfied customer and to be honest it did work uh, I didn't expect that at all um, so that was very nice of them and it really that that little moment did kind of change my day and it changed my mood um, quite around and it was pretty nice. So I got a free warm apple pie. It was fresh, um, and so it was pretty awesome. I obviously don't expect that every time or from every McDonald's that I go to, but to experience it that one time, uh, it was a pretty good feeling, you know. And it's it's just like something that I feel a lot of companies, you know, it'd be nice if they did it. You know, they have you waiting for an extended period of time. Why not give you know a, a dollar 
uh, product for free or something like that, right? Uh, like a little dessert or something to go with it. Uh, in my security guard class, we watched a video. You guys maybe have seen it before in the past. It's my first time seeing it. It's called Give Them the Pickle. Just Give Them the Pickle. Something like that, right? It's a 20-minute video um, on customer service and stuff like that. Coming from an entrepreneur who you know grew his own business from the ground up and stuff like that. And, and his... Um, you know, expertise on the matter. And it's like, I guess kind of what the point I'm trying to say is he always says, you know, just give them the pickle. It is not because in his situation, it was literally a pickle. And if you want to know the whole story, you could go watch that. But the pickle doesn't necessarily have to be legitimately a pickle. It could be, you know, if you're a grocery clerk, uh, you know, you're stocking shelves, it could be actually you know walking someone to a product when they ask you ask you where it is as opposed to just telling them oh aisle three instead of just saying aisle three you could go ahead and take the extra time to walk them to the product so they don't have to look at all for it and that and so you could just you know do them that like sort of due diligence and just help them out in that special way um you guys could uh, obviously get the point and you know you could clearly see that it applies to all jobs across the board and it's pretty nice you know it was a pretty good video um as weird as as weird and as old as it was because <laughs> it is a pretty old school video um at least it looked like it and so yeah it's it's just like just just give them the apple pie you know it'll really make make a difference in someone's day and who knows if you believe in karma then if you do good something good might happen to you um but you shouldn't you shouldn't necessarily do it for that uh you should just do it because you want to make someone else's day the way that you'd want them to make yours um so yeah i know i kind of had this video this speech a little bit all over the place um like i said previously i do i do most of my commentaries in one take and I know I kind of rambled and my mind is a little bit messy right now. Um, I was supposed to do this commentary earlier in the day, but um, I, was, I was pretty lazy. And so I decided to do it now when it's later on in the day <laughs> and I'm feeling sleepy and stuff. But um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys understood the gist of what I was saying. And hopefully you guys could remember to just give them the pickle, you know, give them the apple pie, um, make someone's day the way that you would want them to make yours. Um, so yeah, uh, it'll, it'll help make the world a better place bit by bit. Uh, I know a lot of people might think one person does not make a difference, cannot make a difference. Um, if you make a difference to someone, they might feel encouraged and motivated to do it to someone else and therefore and so forth. Uh, so it can be a chain reaction type thing. Um, I'm not trying to sound like any philosopher or anything, but, uh, I figured I'd share that with you guys, and yeah, every every day I notice uh, whenever I'm coming from security guard class, uh, I have something to take away, and whether it's something on the subway that I witnessed, or something in class that I learned, um, or just something in general that I just thought of, uh, and it's pretty interesting, kind of wish I did vlogs because of it, because I always have something to talk about on the train ride home, but like it'd be pretty weird if I'm there and people all around me and I'm there vlogging. Anywho, I'm just rambling on way too much. It's been a while since I spoke to you guys, and so I guess I kind of had a lot to say without really noticing it. Um, but yeah, so that's all for this time, guys. Sorry I took so long to get to the point. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and yeah, till next time, guys. Stay sorrowful. Peace. If you liked that last video, why not click another? And I'd appreciate if you subscribed.